Welcome to the very first Truth Outside the Box tubecast, I guess I'll call it. I saw Chelsea Clinton a couple weeks ago, and she was saying that we all have to speak up, especially now, and use our voices. And she's right. But her and I have different voices. And that's why it's time for voices who are just regular folk who work every day, who love their families, who've lost families, who've, who just live. And that's all they want to do is live and have the opportunity to find their truth. Because, you know, our freedom was granted by God, not government, not by man, ever. And in my opinion, and in my convicted belief, I believe God wants us to find our way home genuinely, truly, independently, and freely. Because if we're forced through propaganda, have we really come to God at all? I don't think he wants us delivered. I think he wants us, she, it, whatever, to find our own way home. And I believe Christ came to show us that. So we'll get into those things further on in, in um, these conversations. But we need to talk about the truth outside the box. And when I say the truth outside the box, you're like, well, what is that? And it's the box. It's propaganda. The, you know, propaganda is delivered in a box, perfectly produced right to us to work on our emotions because the human emotion is used against us. It's always, ooh, how do you feel? How does that make you feel? It's never, what do you think? You know, they want us to feel, not think. And that's part of the Edward Bernays playbook, to use our emotions. And that's what they've done to us forever. And so this conversation is about trying to get to the truth outside of the boxes. And when I say the boxes, I mean the television, the radio, the computer, the smartphone, magazines, newspapers, the Bible. It's all been packaged to control man through our emotions. That's what I mean when I say the boxes. And we all know it's true. We all get all of our information from the box. And it's always the perfectly propagated information, meaning it's produced, you know? I mean, and they don't even, they don't even really, they don't even attempt to disguise what it is. What do they call television? Programming. <laughs> I mean, it's right there for you. So you have to get to the truth outside the box. All of the boxes. You know, they always say, oh, don't talk about politics or religion. We're not talking about that. But we can talk about the weather. Let's talk about the Knicks. You know, let's talk about football. Let's talk about Donald Trump and Russia, which is all a bunch of BS. It's all this propaganda that's being delivered to distract. Meanwhile, we're so divided that it's frightening. It's gotten to frightening levels. One of my best friends who is gay, he's single, pushing 50, never been married, never been responsible to anybody but himself, calls himself an independent, but you can't have a conversation with him about the state of our world because he's so into the Trump derangement syndrome. And again, like I said, I've never personally, I don't know Donald Trump. I like his plan. I'm all for getting the government the hell out of our business because, again, our freedom comes from God, not government. And when the government charges people to work and then pays people to not work, but yet everybody's voting, but no, not everybody's into the system, it's only succeeded in dividing us. Because people that I know who go to work every day whose, whose checks are so small due to the payroll tax system, it's not income taxes, it's the payroll taxes. And you know, what's the most that they take out on you? It's your Social Security and your Medicare. It's a, it's a giant Ponzi scheme. And so they divide us, Democrat, Republican. Like, like this is team sport. And it's not. We're on the same friggin' team. 
So anyways, I get a little hyper. I'm going to try and keep my language as good as I can because I can talk like a sailor, but I'm really just a fairly nice mother. And I want us to start having some conversations. I want people to talk about these taboo subjects with their friends, with their family, co-workers. If we don't start talking about it and learning how to have civil debate, we're screwed. The future is screwed. And if you have kids or plan to have kids or if you have grandkids, you should care and we should be able to have these conversations and get to the truth outside of the boxes and really, really think about it. How much of your information comes through a box which is really kind of an echo chamber where you're not even getting any diverse opinions. Um, that's dangerous. And when you see the young people wrapped in communist flags at these protests where they, I, they, I don't even understand what they're protesting. Um, that's a scary future. It's a really scary future. And those kids have been brainwashed through the propaganda and the boxes that we as parents are so guilty of propping our kids in front of a box, whether it be video games, you know, TV, now the phones. It's just, um, we're getting to dangerous times in Empire's Fall. Watch the Empire's Fall video here at 3 Minutes of Truth. If you haven't, you should. Watch the Four Horsemen documentary because we are in the age of decadence, people. And I just want to have these conversations. So um, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you have your own. And I hope you come back for more.